Yes, yes, okay, so today we're back for another tutorial Tuesday, you know how we do. This is free advanced rainbow flick variations. Before, I did a tutorial on the rainbow flick, that's up here, if you haven't seen it. And after that video, you all commented saying you wanted to learn the advanced variation. So, we're gonna get into it today. This is what they look like. And first, we're gonna start with the 360 rainbow flick. It's insane, let's go. Okay, so the first one is the 360 rainbow. You've just seen what it looks like. And we're gonna break it down into three easy steps. Step one, essentially it's gonna be like a normal rainbow flick. If you haven't seen the normal rainbow flick tutorial, go back and watch it right now, it'll help you a lot. How I do a normal rainbow flick, I flick up with my strong leg by rolling up my weak leg. This is my right foot, this is my left. So I'm gonna put my right foot on it, I'm gonna lift. Then after a little delay, I'm gonna back heel with my weak foot, my left foot. Essentially, what we're doing with a 360 rainbow, we're gonna do this how we're gonna be turning. I'm right footed, which means I turn to my left, okay? If you are left footed, you're gonna turn to your right. Of course, it's a 360, so we have to go the whole way around. Yeah, step one, essentially, is gonna be instead of just doing it flat, like a normal rainbow flick, where you flick it up, as if we're doing a normal rainbow flick, like this, but we're just gonna start turning, and we're just working on that first part, and we're just gonna turn, all right? So that's literally step one. So step two, we're gonna lift our weak foot, my left foot here. As soon as we've rolled it up, still turning, and that's when we back heel it. We're actually going to complete the move. However, it's going to be pretty difficult to aim, but this is all we need. So step one, we're going to do the flick up while turning. And step two, once we've got a little bit of height, we're going to back heel up. We're going to try and put it forward. So it's going to be like this, all whilst turning, okay? And that's where I want you to get to. What I'd recommend is actually doing this on a straight line, and then you can aim the way you're facing. You can have a bit of bearing. So how I'd practice step one and two is we leave the ball dead. We're going to go on a straight line and go forward. We're going to turn. And you'll notice that as I'm coming into it, I'm already turning. The ball will be there. I don't touch it then turn i'm already turning and run up so my first touch will be turning turning and when you get to about the 180 stage so when we're here that's when you want to back heel it and finish the turn all right okay just to make this really clear what we're going to do we're going to come into it already turning strong foot on the ball get to about 90 degrees flick up happens and then at 180 we're going to back heel it so it'll be a bit like this one two okay and that is step one and two and now we're going on step three so you can hit it on the opponent Okay, so the aim of step three is to be able to use this in game, to use it on an opponent and to be able to aim it. For a rainbow flick, there's kind of two uses. Either like Neymar, where you're relatively still, you want to put it just up and over the defender and then get onto it, or you want to burst down the line and put it into space and go. Essentially, how we're going to work with that is all to do with leaning. If you're trying to do it with a 360 rainbow flick, it's all about where we're leaning and how we're doing it. So if you want to get the 360 rainbow flick so it goes high, what you're going to do, you're going to lean lower, you're going to plant your legs as you turn, you're really going to lift up, and that's going to get you higher. You can also slightly delay the final back heel, which means you can get proper hit on it so look a bit like this Ooh. so that's pretty high the point of this i mean i i just use this for trick shots to be honest i do a 360 rainbow flick into a bicycle kick i'll show you that one now crossbar yeah oh. however in game this is actually a technique that you would want to use to get it over a defender without going too far say for example i was to beat a defender and just get around it just now it'd be here up over there. That'd have to be a pretty short defender, but you get what I'm saying from this distance. However, now if we were to try and do it to burst into space, so to get it high, we're gonna lean low and the ball will come up. If we want it to go forwards, we're gonna actually lean forwards and it'll come up. So as we're turning, it's odd to think of leaning. However, just think when we're coming out of the back hill, we're leaning the direction that we want to go. So this time the ball will go a bit further. Like so. If you really want it to go far, you just properly lean. Start rocking it down there. Okay, so that's 360 rainbow and that's everything you need for it. I think with this, you should be able to use it in game. But as per, you're just gonna need to repeat, repeat, repeat. It's a very odd skill. It takes some time to master. I definitely didn't get this straight away. I remember when I was younger, it probably took me a couple of days, all right? So I know you can definitely do it. And I know there's some ballers out there who'll probably learn this in a couple of hours. Anyway, now onto rainbow flick two. This is a typical advanced rainbow flick. Let's go. Okay, so now we're on to the advanced rainbow flick. This is my favorite out of the three. This is the one that I would use in game the most. I feel like I have the most success rate and I feel like this is the easiest one to control and master so that we can aim it properly. So what we're gonna need for this one, relatively simple. So it's basically just two steps and the first step, I've already taught before in another tutorial. So you might be up to date with this. If you haven't seen that tutorial, there it is. You're gonna have the flick up in there, which is what you need. This flick up, I called Ronaldinho flick up. First saw him do it in Yoga Bonito advert. And what it is, you plant your weak foot and you're gonna roll the ball with your strong foot across 
and it's gonna come up. This is step one for the skill and you're having difficulty with this, I put it in more detail in that tutorial, so don't miss it. Instead of doing it flat and across our body, so you'll notice it goes in line with my shoulders, we're not gonna do that. So we're actually gonna turn our shoulders. I'm right footed, this is my left shoulder, so my weak foot shoulder will be facing towards the defender. So once we've got our shoulder in position, what we're gonna do, we're gonna ball roll across, do the flick up, like so. However, what's different now, is we're actually gonna plant our strong foot after the ball roll. So one flick up, plant, all right? And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna drag our weak foot forwards, we're gonna plant this one, which allows us to lift our strong foot, and that'll be step two with the flick. And now we're going on to step two. Okay, so with step two, essentially what it is with our strong foot, we're just gonna back heel it right here over the opponent. So how we do this, we're gonna do the flick, take the step, take the step, and now when we lift our right leg again, our strong foot again, we're gonna be looking at the ball, and the aim is just to touch it softly with our right foot. If we do this hard, the ball will go miles. If we do it lightly, the ball won't go anywhere. So if I was gonna do this light, it would look a little bit like this. It's just gonna be a light back heel, one, Two. All right, that was actually on my calf and that was just to keep it controlled on right here. Hit it on your heel, you can get some crazy power. So an example of that would be the way I, I best do it is by doing the flick up, straightening out as I do it, but still looking over my shoulder, back heel, come straight over the head. If I was to flick it up earlier, it'd look a bit like this, and it'd go backwards, all right? So that's not good. And if I was to hit it too late, it'd look a little bit like this. Never, never gonna get over my head like that. So you just gotta work on it. If it's going the wrong place, you're probably hitting it at the wrong time. Just carry on practicing it and you'll get it at the right time. And then it will arch over your head and your opponent's head perfectly. Definitely not an easy trick to do. However, it is a fun one. And when you get it down, it feels amazing. <laughs> Okay, so now we're on to the third and final one. This one is the Stomp Rainbow Flick. I think this is the craziest looking one. This is my favorite one to look at. And I've only ever seen one person properly do it in game. That was Serginio Fulista in a futsal match. Yeah, as you can see, that was insane. So now it's time for you guys and girls to learn it so you can do that and I can watch you do it. For this one, it's pretty similar to the Advanced Rainbow Flick that we've just done. However, it's a different flick up. So it's gonna be two steps and you have to use the same tips from the last one, however I'll repeat them. So what we're gonna do, instead of doing the Ronaldinho flick up like so, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the stomp. Stomp looks like this, we're gonna plant our heel, boom, just like that. You know how we do. If you're finding this difficult or you want more tips for this flick up, please go back to this tutorial. I've done it directly on this flick up. Loads of tips, loads of tricks, and you'll be able to do it. So go over there if you can't do it. We're gonna have it to the side of us. We're gonna put the ball slightly behind our foot so my weak foot will be planted we plant it in front of the ball like so then i'll place my strong foot on the ball and what we're going to do i'm going to roll down and then i'm going to apply pressure through my heel and that will cause it to flick up all right however we don't want it directly behind us right in that example it was directly behind us what i would say is to have it slightly out all right and what we're going to do we're going to come into it we're going to turn our shoulders out slightly not as far as the advanced rainbow flick however they will be a bit far out so that we can see the ball yeah the key to these tricks is timing if you want to get it in the right place you have to hit it at the right time what helps you out seeing the ball so then we can judge it because every flick up won't be the same we won't be able to put it in the same place so we can't just blindly do it we have to watch it and monitor it then we'll get it right we're going to be running down the line and how i'm going to do it i'm going to put my foot on the ball here i can see it it's just outside i'm going to do the flick up and that'll be step one the aim for the flick up is to get to hip height yeah it's pretty hard to do with this flick up i think it's hard to, especially you know with a match football and studs on and on 3g or grass on concrete this move is easier because you get more resistance however on grass, on 3G, with a normal football, it's still doable in studs. So, step one will be here, okay? You'll notice that when I do this move, I actually generate a bit of power. I put my foot on the ball, I roll it backwards a little, and then I go down and stomp it. You don't have to do this, you can just come over it, like so. However, for me, uh, I think from all the street football and panel that I've done, uh, it's just something that I'm used to, and it helps me gauge the ball, helps me aim. If you want to do that tip, what we're going to do, we're going to start to, we're going to plant our weak foot, we're going to roll the ball, back slightly then with the momentum we're going to go forwards plant it flick up the ball will come up that'll be step one so woo, that's step one done so for step two what we're going to do we're going to be doing the back heel it's very similar to the second rainbow flick the advanced rainbow flick that we just did so for this example we'll have just done the flick up boom planted our strong foot the ball will be coming in the air with our weak foot so my left foot i'm going to take a step this means we're ready to run i've still got my shoulders open so i can see the ball i can watch it i can time when i'm going to hit it we're not going to hit it too early we're not going to hit it too late we're going to hit it just when it's above my foot so that when I back heel it, the angle is enough. Then we'll have hit on, we open our shoulders out fully, and that means we're ready to run past the defender. So, little example, be like, boom. You notice with this one, it wasn't actually all the way behind me. This one came up, it was slightly in front of me. So what I did there to adjust, I turned my heel a bit more so that I could still hit it on the middle. I've practiced this skill quite a bit, however, I still make mistakes with it. You really need to practice it a lot. I, I don't practice it too much. 
I know some of you out there will definitely be able to do it better than me and that is the aim. I want you all to be able to do it better than me. So just keep practicing it, work on the time and work on the flick up. Once you're comfortable with the flick up and you can get the height, then it gives you time to hit it at the right point and that means you'll be able to do it and apply it in game. What I want is for you to comment down below which rainbow flick is your favorite, either one, two or three. My favorite I think is the second one, that's the one I definitely use the most. And then whichever one you pick, you have to practice first, all right? And you have to send me that video on Instagram. So I want you to train it, film it, Send it to me on Instagram, actually, Planet. You know how we do. I'll try and see them all. Lots of you are messaging me, and it's amazing. I'm really trying my best to reply to everyone. However, if I don't, I probably just missed it. Please send another message, and I'll try my best to see that one. I definitely want to see all of you doing this video. So however many views this gets, I want that many of you to have learned it, and that many of you to send it to me on Instagram. However, once you've done your favorite one, then it is time to practice the other ones. You know how we do. You've got to get all these skills down. So when you're back with your friends, you can destroy them. Let's go. Oh, but, but, but of course, don't forget to like this video if you have learned something. Comment down below what skill you want to learn next, next week on Tutorial Tuesday. And of course, do not forget to subscribe because there are going to be more crazy videos, more videos where you're learning skills and more videos where I'm entertaining your skills and we're going to get more crazy people on this channel to test their skills. Trust me, this is a wave. Of course, of course, of course, notification gang, they are the best. You want to be like that, so make sure you've turned the bell on and, and who knows, maybe down the line, there'll be prizes for whoever is fast on these videos. We'll see. Let's go.